Medicaid expansion talks have hit a wall after House Speaker Jason White announced last night that the latest House proposal would have Mississippi voters voice their opinion on Medicaid expansion through a ballot referendum. That proposal has not been well received in the Senate with no discussions likely to take place. The issue is not officially dead yet, though. 12 News senior political correspondent Richard Lake joins us live from the state capitol. Richard, what last-ditch effort are lawmakers making? Well, this effort is coming from House Democrats, and it revolves around the work requirement that has really split both chambers on Medicaid expansion all session long. House Minority Leader Representative Robert Johnson has approached leadership with a compromise that would allow for the state to apply for a work requirement once. But if denied, no work requirement would be applied for after that. House Democrats oppose the conference report because of that work requirement. And with the federal government denying every Medicaid expansion plan that includes a work requirement throughout the entire Biden administration, many members saw no point in voting for a measure that is likely to never be federally approved. Representative Johnson says he's spoken with leadership about the plan and Lieutenant Governor Delbert Hoseman says they're open to hearing it, but it is unlikely the Senate would be receptive. What we couldn't abide by was submitting a waiver every year with the same information that CMS said we're not going to accept uh, and, and requested that if, if, it, if it all possible, if they could resubmit a conference report without the reapplication with work requirements in it. I was hopeful when I left the Senate, but there doesn't seem to be much of an appetite right now uh, anywhere else. We'll consider just about anything, you know, but I, we have nothing in writing, and these hall conversations don't produce necessarily good legislation. We're, you know, we're the deliberative body over here. The people behind me, they like to think about things. They want to see what our options are. They want to see what the ramifications are of each step. And so I, I honor that for my senators. Our senators were prepared to pass a working bill for the first time on this particular issue that I can remember. Sure. And uh, we let it get away. And um, I'm not happy about it. Again, it is very unlikely that a deal will be made on expansion at this current moment. There does not seem to be any political appetite in either chamber to rekindle any real conversation on the matter. But lawmakers have until 8 p.m. tonight to reach an agreement on a conference report. If not, Medicaid expansion will die. Reporting live from the state capitol, Richard Lake, 12 News.